Hello students. Let's see program number 13 from Core Java Programming Lab for six semester. Write a Java program to implement the concept of importing classes from user defined package and creating packages. Okay, so what is actually a package? Package for a layman, you can consider it as a folder or a directory where you will mention or maintain required files which are interrelated to each other. Okay, simply saying. It's a group of package or in Java, it would be a group of similar classes, interfaces, sub packages, etc. So the same concept occurs when you categorize folders in your desktop or PC. So all the materials that is needed for a particular topic, let's say music, you will categorize under or put it under a folder or a directory called music and then if you have some documents important documents you shall put it under documents right downloads under downloads so this is your layman term of viewing how packages are so similarly in java we have group of similar types of classes interfaces and uh, libraries also in certain cases which are placed now there are several built-in packages in java like you have your lang awt swing io util sql etc these are all built-in packages but however we are going to be creating our own package today and let's see how it is done remember packages unlike classes have a different way of treating access specifiers okay so the private anything which is declared private within a package remains private to that particular class okay how about protected protected can be accessed if it is a inherited class which is outside the package what about default default cannot be accessed outside the package only within the same package and public as you are aware is accessible outside the package as your normal class so now we'll see how uh, access specifiers are done in the particular program for package so there are two modes of running this you can run it in the command line from your normal Java command line. I'll explain the steps for that a little later. From this demo, I have used Eclipse, so it is much more easier using Eclipse. Okay, so now here I have my program. So what I have done, I'll just show it to you. I have created two packages here, one called pack. I have placed a.java, inside that and within pack i have created one more package called pack one which i have placed b dot java inside okay so we have pack one and pack so you can see the properties and all that so both because we don't have multiple levels here both are coming under source so pack one also and pack also comes under source okay so two side by side packages i'm not able to show one pack within the other you can try it you can try putting something under source and then access it but for the purpose of the lab experiment side by side two packages okay now inside pack i have a dot java this is the program so specified package pack and this is my class so this is a public class so if it's a public class it's accessible outside this package also 
outside which package pack package okay now inside this however there are four different types of access specifiers now int int if i'm not specifying any access specifier it is automatically taken as default so this is default now this is protected that is why then i have private i've created an object for the class z here and uh, then i have a public method display inside this i'm printing the different values and z i'm accessing it's a default class using an object and printing the values so this again z is a public variable here okay though the class is default the variable is public remember this so this is my a next we go to pack 1 under pack 1 i have something called as b now inside this b okay notice one thing a does not have a main method so we cannot run this but it can be called somewhere else and we can run it okay we can make use of the methods and the variables which are present in a but a itself cannot run because we don't have a main we go to b we'll see the b now b is inside pack 1 <coughs> excuse me and we are going to import pack pack dot star now what we are going to do is class c extends a we are going to do an inheritance here so as i told you for protected uh, variables or uh, methods inherited classes can access it okay i'll show you how it is done outside the package also sub classes now this is a disp method so we have system dot out print l and class c simply it's going to print and then we have the different variables x y p and i'll show you how actually method also can be accessed this is a normal class b we have the main here so we are creating an object for class c here and we are calling upon disp so ultimately we start with display of this so we will see this one by one so if i'm going to run it i will run this b dot java you'll see that the output has come class c because rest of the things are already been commented now let me remove the first comment and see if it runs i'm getting an error what is the error the field a dot x is not visible so i am going i am actually extending a but a dot x which i am trying to print is not visible what is the reason the reason is very simple in a dot java x is a default variable so default variables and methods cannot be accessed outside a package now if i have to make it accessible what do i have to do i have to convert this from default to public so i can do that or protected i'll do public will this work yes it's visible that means we can print it okay now let me convert this to protected will it work yes it will work can you tell me the reason why the reason is because this particular class a is inherited here and all sub classes have access to protected variables so it's still working okay now let us leave it back to as it was as default okay now 
Next, what we have is your Y. So Y is predicted. Will it get printed? Yes. Without any errors, it should get printed. Next, we have P. Shall we try printing P? Look at this. The field A dot P is not visible. What about P? So P is here. It's a private variable. So if you have having any idea about private, public, protected, access specified, you would know that private is the most secure way of protecting your variables and methods. So private cannot be accessed outside the package. That's the reason why it is private. Come in this out. So Y is protected, so we can access X is default, we cannot. And compilation error will occur because C is, sorry, P is private. Now, how about we try to take in some other methods from here. Now, public void display. This display is a public function or public method. Can we use it directly in our class B? Let's try. I am going to just put display here. Now, see this, what is the error that we are getting? It is giving multiple markers error. So, because here we have public void display. Due to this reason, we will be getting this error. Let's just try to fix it. Okay, so now to fix this, what we should do is, there are two ways of fixing this. One, we can use this display at its appropriate place, that is here. We can access it using the object for C class. Okay, let us do that and we will print the value. So C, Y and hello 1050, all these is from display class. See, all this. So we have printed it. So this is one way. So see how the display here is a public method and using the object for this class, I have, see this object for Z, I have accessed show inside here and that also we have been able to print here. Another way of doing this is, we can directly use display inside this. It is not giving us any error. Can you tell me the reason why? This is a default method and there is an inheritance that is occurring. So we can use this particular public method inside another method. So it will be like you're calling the method directly, a dot display. But if you were to use it outside, it would give you an override er uh, error. So that is what we got before. See here, if I use it here, I get, okay, this method requires a body instead of a semicolon. Return type for the method is missing. So it is thinking that it's a definition of the method and not actually the method body. It's an abstract type. It takes it as an abstract method. So it is not going to work. However, once I do it inside this, only this part will be checked and this is a genuine method with a genuine body. What is inside this is not checked. So it will directly Take it as pack dot a dot display. So I'm going to display this now. This will work. Yes, it should work. So this is how the different access specifiers are used for packages. Okay. I hope this is clear. 
Apart from this, as I told you, you can access this particular program or run it using command line. For that, there is a different way of doing it. I'll show you the method. Steps to run using command line. So once you navigate to your concerned Java folder and you set the path, okay, start creating different folders or directory. As I told you, packages are synonymous to folders or directories. So first of all, create folder pack. Needless to say, you have to set the Java compiler to this, okay? After this, create a Java program a.java inside pack. After that, create one more folder called pack1 inside pack. Inside the pack1, now go inside pack1, do a cd into pack1 and then set the path for Java compiler. Okay. After that, create the program b.java inside pack one. Now go reverse, compile b.java and exit pack one. And now compile a.java. You, if you find any issues here, you can alternate the compilation process. Most of the cases, a.java has to be compiled first and then b.java, okay? Mm -hmm. Nevertheless to say, you can compile them in either fashion. But running has to be done only for b.java because the main function, main method is now present only for b.java. In some cases, it may throw an error if you specify package pack1 in the code of b.java. So kindly remove that and then run it. It shall run fine. So this is how you will run it through the command line. But through the Eclipse, I have shown you, just simply create packages and put the, full, put the program inside the package. Hope you have understood this. Thank you.